Well, hello, and thank you for joining me today. This is a journaling page for the Gypsy and the Witch. I'm Rita Marie, the Gypsy, and I'll be showing you today a short tutorial of my page for the theme Summer Solstice. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get inspired and come in and join my dear sister, Callie Black, the witch, and I, and have some fun with us together. We love to have you come along and do videos and pages with us, and we have a group that you can join. All the links will be below, and we'd love to see you over at our Gypsy and Witch group on Facebook. Be wonderful to have you there. Please sit back and relax and enjoy. I'm going to start spraying my page with water. Now I've covered the other page and I've put some tape down the center there. I'm not really worried about, you know, anything running. I like all that kind of mush mosh and fun colors and it just creates more interest. So here I'm just using golden high flows and I'm just gonna spray some water on it and I'm going to let it flow onto another piece of paper so this way I can get that nice uh, effect. Here we go. I just love doing this. I love when the paint runs down the page. So that's what I'm going to be doing and then I'll add more colors to it making sure that I don't turn the page brown because you have to be really careful and if you have a color wheel that will help you with colors. So I'm just going to keep doing this and just letting it run until it gets to the point where I'm ready to add another color and I have another paper underneath so this way I can use that scrap paper eventually for something too so don't ever waste your paint or your papers because they come in handy now I'm just wiping the edge off and uh, getting ready I'm thinking what other colors do I want? I want this bright because this is a beautiful summer day so it has to be bright and cheery so now I decided to add the red so I am going to kind of get those to flow together and it'll make it a little bit orangey and now I've sprayed a little bit of magenta and not sprayed but um, just dropped a little bit of magenta in there so you can see that that reddish deep red burgundy kind of colorish you know and I'm gonna put some white now I'm gonna drop a put a little bit drops of white to lighten it up a little bit it'll turn a little bit pink and then the red will get a little bit lighter so just to brighten it up just a little bit more and just letting it again flow and the, the four colors that I have on there blend together and they won't make brown so that's good because we don't want I don't want brown on the page at least not yet so it just looks so pretty I love the flowing I love the way the paint makes its own design just spraying now using one of my friend Tibby's lovely stencils that she sent me uh, she's spellbound here on YouTube and I'm just now flicking colors on and just you know kind of just getting more brightness in there okay so what I did was I used some stencils and I put in some turquoise and it's the um, the Dina Wakely the uh, he her heavy body I like it because she's got really vibrant colors and um, you know it's opaque so sometimes you just need something opaque and they're great so I am going to now if I can find what I did I think I'm gonna I cut this picture out of a magazine and I think I'm just gonna use this picture and kinda stick it in here somewhere and um, I really enjoy, I'm enjoying the colors uh, in here for summertime it reminds me of summer so I think I'm gonna just put her in here and then of course you know just use her <sighs> and I will be right back okay so now she's glued down uh, and I am now going over it with white uh, gesso so I'm gonna start with a gesso base and then add in some watercolors 
Here are some flesh tones, uh, pinks, uh, flesh tone, um, uh, salmon, uh, just different blends of colors. And then I'll start adding in darker pinks, blues, greens, yellows. Okay, you can see that I was working on her face and I added some stencils with uh, you know, using gesso. And now I'm going to paint um, over them and probably and let's see let's see let me get a brush that i want to use and get that going and i don't actually know what colors i'm going to use i mean this is the sun this is going to represent the sun so i'm going to add some uh, hot colors in here and i'm using my tombow markers uh, I don't use them that often, but I'm just going to just try and add a little bit of pink in here. And these, by the way, are my friend. Tibby's uh, stencils that she made for me, which I love. So I'm just layering color over color over color until I get it bright enough. And I'm using my, like I said, my Tombow, but I'm also using my Neo Colors. So just mixing it all up and, you know, just coming out with a nice vibrant sun. That's what I want. You know me and color. I love color. So this page, especially for summer, needed to be colorful and vibrant. And sis, this she kind of looks like a gypsy laying in the grass there getting some sun. So I want her to have all the color soaked up that she can. So she's just enjoying the summer sun. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I would love to hear from you. I enjoy your comments. I read every single one of them. They make me happy. And I try to respond as quickly as I can. Because I want you to know that I appreciate you taking the time not only to watch my videos, but also to leave me comments. And all your comments are wonderful and uplifting and encouraging and you inspire me. So just want to let you know that. Please don't forget to check out my sister, the witch, Callie Black. I will put her link below. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Okay, so I think this page is done. You can see I added gold. I hope you could see gold to the sun, the sun's rays coming down on this beautiful gypsy just laying in the grass and flowers. I think just soaking up the beautiful peacefulness of a summer day. And of course, my son had to have a face because it's a girl and she's just wonderfully luscious. You can see it's still wet the page a little bit so I just let that dry and I believe it's done. I can add words to it. Um, I may do that after this all dries but for now I am done and I hope my sister Callie loves it and I hope you enjoyed this video and I inspired you and until the next time I see you which will be next month for the Gypsy and the Witch I'm so happy that you're here and I'm hoping that you're enjoying this adventure that we're on Callie and I and uh, we sure love having you with us and I can't wait to see your pages and what you've done so thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. We'd love to have you come and join us over at the Gypsy and the Witch. The link will be below, and we'd love to see you there.